This is the Tackle HS203BK digital to analog audio converter. It's got a frequency of 192 kHz. A DAC or digital analog converter primarily converts a digital audio signal into an analog one so that your headphones or speakers can then create sound. This audio converter converts coaxial or Toslink digital pulse code modulation audio signals to analog, you know, left or right channel RCA um, with the um, 3.5 mil jack audio. So here you've got your digital Toslink audio input port on the optical port connection. You have also got the digital coaxial audio input port on the coaxial port connection. And the last port connection is the DC power connector, rated at 5 volts. On the other side we've got the volume knob, the analog stereo output port, where you can insert your 3.5mm jack audio. Then you've got the R channel analog audio output port, which has got a red colour. Lastly, the L channel analog audio output port, which has got a white colour. So this comes with an optical cable which goes into your digital Toslink audio input port. You can also call it a Toslink cable, okay? You've also got your 5 volts DC power adapter input cable, which you can plug at the back of your TV USB port connection. And you've also got, you know, a yellow coaxial cable. So first, I would connect the input and output accessories in order to power up, you know, the um, speakers, okay? So the first step of the process would be to connect the input side of the connection for the digital to audio converter. And the first input connection that will be connected would be the optical cable, or you can call it your Toslink cable. I would undo the cap on the optical cable, okay, undo the plastic covering, and then connect it to the optical port connection or the digital Toslink audio input port. So connect one end of the connection to the input optical port and connect the other side of the connection to the optical um, port at the back of your telly. So pretty much one end goes here, just insert it there to the here like uh, a soft audible click. The next step would be to connect the 5 volt power USB cable. Now that we've connected the optical cable, we're going to connect you know, the power cable subsequently. So we insert the USB to the DC 5 volt power connector. The next step would be to connect the yellow coaxial cable. And so connect it to the digital coaxial audio input port. And that's the input side of the connection done on the digital audio converter. So the next step would be to hook up the input side of the connection onto the back of the telly. And so first we connect the other end of the power USB cable. And as soon as we slot that in, it powers up the system status light, which is the red light that you've got here. And the next step would be to connect, to, you know, the optical cable to the back of the telly. And make sure that you take cognizance of the orientation of the optical cable or the shape of the cable before you slot it into the optical port at the back of your telly. As square pegs do not fit in a round hole, okay? You know, you've got your optical cable connected. You don't really need your yellow coaxial cable, okay? So I wouldn't be, you know, connecting this to the back of my telly, okay? If you've got the digital coaxial audio input, you know, as well as the right or left channel analog audio output cables, um, and also the relevant ports at the back of your speakers, you could use them, but I do not need the um, yellow cable. My speakers comes preset with a 3.5 mm audio output port, okay? So I've got the jack here, which is your 3.5 mm jack. So that's what I've got in my hands here. This 3.5 mm jack goes into the analog stereo output port where you've got the headphone icon. So just insert the um, jack into that port, okay? And then subsequently, you know, turn on the volume. And now that we've got the input and the output connection ports and, you know, cables all set up, we should have the digital signal, you know, from our television converted into an analog one. And as such, you know, our speakers should begin to create sound, okay?
So here I will test out, you know, the converter to see if it's outputting analog signals through my speakers. Okay, so I'll, you know, tweak the volume, you know, upwards to see if you know there's an increase in sound. And I have since been poor, and I quite agree with them that it is not an ennobling experience. Poverty entails fear and stress, and sometimes depression. What I feared most for myself at your age was not poverty, but failure. At your age, in spite of a distinct lack of motivation at university, where I had spent far too long in the coffee bar writing stories and far too little time at lectures, I had a knack for passing examinations. And that, for years, had been the measure of success in my life and that of my peers. Now, I am not dull enough to suppose that because you are young, gifted and well-educated, you have never known heartbreak, hardship or heartache. Talent and intelligence never yet inoculated anyone against the caprice of the fates. And I do not for a moment suppose that everyone here and you can see that when I've turned down the TV volume that the speakers are still audible. So that confirms that the converter works. So that's, that's about it pretty much. Okay, um, if you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. It does help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.